Welcome everyone and YouTube family to my 2024 Transformers collection video. I thought I would bring you this because it's uh, it's been a long time coming. I put this together. Uh, I've, I've really kind of redone and rearranged how I display my Transformers and I think they came out a lot better looking now. There's It's just a, such a better looking display now than what I used to have. So I thought I'd show you guys uh, what I've uh, graduated to here and start here with, with this collection. So uh, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start here at the top and just show you that I do have a transformer sign that I, that I bought. It lights up. Uh, I had to order that from China, but um, that's pretty cool, I thought. We have a uh, Fortress Maximus there on the left, of course, with the San Diego Comic-Con uh, Metroplex over there on the right. So that's a pretty cool setup. I was thinking about putting a, a, a big, a big mid, um, centerpiece up there, but I, my, I was thinking that might be too busy. Um, at this point. So I think the two is what I'll leave that as for now. Let's come down to this next shelf here. So Trypticon on the left is what we have right there with a the Brunt right in front of him. We have a custom Blu-ray Transformer series uh, Blu-ray that I made over there. But there you go. There's 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 those dudes. And then we have a uh, Scorponok with a Fast Track in front of him. That is the two Hasbro versions of those Transformers. This one is a Jin Bao oversized transformer. I think I got that for like a hundred bucks. So that's pretty cool. Came out pretty nice. This is a, uh, I think it's a WB01 model, um, Bruticus, Warbertron Bruticus. That Bruticus is a really, really nice transformer. I do recommend anybody that's trying to get a third party transformer to, to buy this one if you haven't got him yet, because he's, he's really good. He's very detailed. Um, the transformations are really fairly easy for the most part. That's a little uh, shockwave from the Warbotron series that turns into a gun and he can actually hold as well. So that's pretty cool. We have a Hasbro Omega Supreme right there. And uh, he's pretty tall. I think he's like 18 inches, something like that. So then we have a Transformer movie on Blu-ray, of course, right there. We're going to bring you down to the uh, shelf down here below now. So this is an Incubus signed CD on the wall here. I don't know why I put that in there. I just kind of thought I would do that for some reason. Then we have a Computron, a WB03, I believe, is the model on that one. That is a little tough to find and pretty rare. You don't see this guy too often, so feast your eyes. That is a sign I bought off of X Etsy, like a, a, print, a 3D printed uh, Autobot symbol that lights up with LEDs. It's pretty nice. It does have a dimming capability as well. That is uh, Defensor. That's the Yes model Defensor. Came out really nice. I really like that one hard as hell to transform but I do love them right in the middle I put a G1 Optimus Prime just just because you know because because Optimus is the bomb then we have uh, actually let's do the Autobot shelf first how's that so we'll look at this first shelf I thought it came out really nice so I decided to buy these clear plastic things over at Target they're actually I believe they're bathroom like supply holders or something like that I got them for like five to ten bucks each and I thought it would be cool to stick a transformer in there because they're see-through, and, and it came out okay. I, I think I, I think I like this. So of course, up front we have Optimus Prime. Down below that we have Rotostorm, Rotostorm, and then we have uh, Blaster in the back with I believe an eject up front. Um, we have Rodimus Prime with his uh, alter ego Hot Rod, and then we have um, looks like uh, Bumblebee right up front there along with a Perceptor. I love the Perceptor. I thought he was a great looking Hasbro toy. These are all, of course, G1 style, as you can tell. This is uh, Ultra Magnus over here. He's a pretty cool looking Transformer. We have Jazz down there in his Porsche form. Porsche form. I like it. I like it. So here we go. Next shelf. Let's look at the centerpiece, which is a Jetfire. That is the Hasbro Jetfire. I believe it's the Commander. No, it's a Leader class, I believe. Then we have Springer next to him, the green, and then we have Ironhide in red. Down below them, we have Mirage and Sunstreaker. And I can't remember this guy's name, but he's a kind of like a variant of, of Ironhide over here. So I really like it because it's a black and red. It's like the opposite colors. It's really cool. That's awesome. So then we have Ratchet in the back. Of course, Ratchet's a great looking transformer. That's the uh, exclusive that came in with the with the medical droid as well. Um, that is the... Uh, Cliff Jumper from Hasbro, of course. Down here we have a Prowl and we have a Hound. So there you go. I thought that shelf came out pretty nice too. I did buy these lights also off of Amazon that are uh, motion sensitive, or you can just turn them on and then recharge them via USB-C afterwards. So I thought that was pretty cool. 
Down here, we're going to look at the uh, G Creations Dinobot set. And uh, we got Sludge, we got Slag, we got Swoop, we got Grimlock, and we've got Snarl over here. Um, then right up front, we have a little wheelie right there. Let's get in close. There you go. And as you can see, these ones are really detailed nicely. I love the, the, uh, the vacuum chrome on there. I, I, the vacuum chrome paint or whatever. I'm not sure what you call that, something like that. But I love how it's, how it's shiny, just like the original ones were. Um, don't like the wings on Swoop, and I think he's too big. But other than that, this is a great set. So if you like this set, it's the G Creation set. Um, they do transform into a large transformer as well. Um, I can't remember his name, but the, all these do form a larger transformer. Uh, unlike the originals, they, these ones do that. So there you go. That's a pretty cool shelf. Let's go, start at the bottom here on my Decepticon shelf and look at the Seekers real quick. So these are uh, some of these are exclusives, and I think maybe a few of them are not. But uh, for the most part, all of these are exclusives, except for maybe the, the Skywarp, from what I remember. I believe that the, the, um, that the one over here, this, uh, this guy is a, is a Target exclusive. Thrust, that's his name. Skywarp, of course, right in the middle. He might be an exclusive, too. I can't recall at this time. We have uh, Ramjet and Dirge right there. And then we have Thundercracker on that side. Those are both exclusives. Yeah, everything here is exclusive, except for Skywarp. I, th I think he might be just a normal run-of-the-mill, everyday Chug Transformer. As you can tell, I, I do a lot of Chug Transformers here, but I, I do have uh, third parties, and I have a ton more Transformers than this. So... This is just scratching the surface of my collection. I just thought that this looked better, uh, you know, spread out more like this so you could see everything rather than all jammed in together. I had a, I, I submitted this video, or not this video, but I submitted my prior Transformers video, uh, pictures that is, to Bobby Skullface. And he did a little, um, a little what do you call it, a critique of, of that collection. So if you want to check that out, go to Bobby Skullface and you can see it. I, think, I believe it's number 39 in his collection critiques. I think that's the number I was on, but you'll see me there uh, with my first collection. This is Galvatron in the back, of course, the the leader of the Decepticons in later seasons. Um, we have uh, uh, we got we got Shrapnel right there on the Decept Decepticon side. Now these are third-party Decepticons, and they look fantastic. I love them. Uh, I can't remember the name of the third party at this time. I think it starts with an M. Uh, we have Bombshell right there. He looks he's looking great. We have Kickback over here. And then we have, um, I believe that's Counterpunch, and I believe he's also an exclusive from the Chug Collections. Back there on top, we have, of course, Astro Train. And then over here, we'll have uh, Blitzwing. Almost called him Blitzkrieg, but that's the German term. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so these lights, Amazon, check them out. They're really cool. In fact, the boxes that they look like, this is what they are. So if you, have, if you want to get these lights, this is what you're looking for. This 40 LED motion sensor light, that's, that's the one right there and these are awesome you can get you can get two of them for i think it's like 18 bucks and they're awesome they're like i said they're uh motion sensitive you can recharge them via USB C. I love it good stuff up here on my next shelf we have megatron of course front and center uh then we have um spinister down here which is an exact copy of rotor storm or rotostorm just the decepticon version of that and those are kind of hard to find so i'm glad i have those um we have uh in the in the case there we have um runabout and run run amuck right there those are both target exclusives those two cars and then we have uh, up here my favorite transformer from the 80s uh from the original g1 series was shockwave and so i have a version of shockwave that looks very similar to the original however he doesn't turn into a gun which is very disappointing to say the least neither does this guy and that's disappointing to say the least as well. But we have um, Shock uh, Soundwave right there. Soundwave is an excellent looking uh, G1 uh, rendition. I really like it. And we have Starscream and Cyclonus over here. And then we're going to move up to the next shelf right here, which we haven't shown you quite yet. This is going to be, uh, of course, Minasaur over here. This is a third party Minasaur. Probably the best one I've seen. That's why I have it. But he's a pricey SOB. He's about 500 bucks for that one. So if you want that one, get, get the wallet out. And then we have, of course, Devastator, who's kind of in the dark over here. Sorry about that. But he is really detailed nicely. If you want a third-party uh, Devastator, just get the WB Series Devastator. This, this one's excellent. The Warbitron Devastator, very, very nice. Very detailed. Uh, not extremely hard to transform, but it has some, some moments. But there you go, guys. That's my uh, 2024 Transformers Collection. Um, I'm going to show you a couple more here, actually, I forgot about. Got some jets down here. 
Um, these are the jets from Superion, and this is a third party as well. I think it's a TFC brand, Superion. We've got the Harrier jet, we've got the Blackhawk rendition there. We've got some good ones, F-14 or FF-15, I think it is on the right there. Yeah, but these are nice too, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Guys, I'll be showing you another video in the future here, uh, highlighting my Star Trek collection as well. So if you're into Star Trek at all, you can check those out in a, in a prior video. I'll show you all that stuff. But anyway, so moving on here, guys. Thanks again for watching. If you do want to see uh, individual transformation videos, I'm going to start bringing you those uh, as soon as possible here. I'm going to go through all of these ones and transform them for you, uh, you know, into both modes so that you can... Uh, do the same if you happen to have these ones and i have about probably double this amount of transformers just packed away so i'm going to get those out and transform those as well for you it's going to be quite a series of videos hopefully that's something that you'll enjoy or that you could utilize as a collector uh, most mostly i collect chugs so if you are interested in seeing those transformation videos go ahead and subscribe like the video if you can and i would greatly appreciate that guys i'm so happy you decided to stop and watch my video today Thanks again for all your time, and we will talk to you later. Peace out.